Hey, buddy. Would it be awkward if I felt your bicep? Yeah, a little bit awkward. Sorry. He's a little bit awkward. So next, I will be showing you the zombie. Now, zo oh, hey. I wonder what happens if you turn a villager. Let's see. Nope. Okay. Come on. Feel the force within you, Luke. Turn to the dark side. Turn to the dark. He did not turn to the dark side. Turn. Turn, baby. Turn. Turn, baby. Turn. Turn, baby. Come on, you can do it. <coughs> Come on. One of them's got to turn. There we go. Wait. Two of them turned. So I'm just gonna. Yeah. 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 Wait. Let me just get this. I don't want to, uh. Do. Let me just. Okay, he's in. He's there. I don't think he's gonna be trying, causing any trouble. Let me just. Okay. Okay, now. Zombies essentially have four attacks. And I'm going to fight him, so. Oh, that's. That's his shout. That's his shout. He's gonna bring up zombies now. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm sorry, I deleted a file accidentally, and it's when I died, so I just did this to show you the, um, what he does. So, yeah, that shout, so if I'm saying I just want to show you his shout attack, just ignore that, because he just showed me, he just said it. So, what I deleted accidentally is, just get out of here. <coughs> sorry. I'm really sorry about that. That was his melee, and his melee essentially, I believe, caused up to 12 points of damage. And what he just did a second ago was his toss, right there. He jumps up in the air. He, no, he throws you up in the air, then he jumps up and hits you. <coughs> I'm sorry, and then he throws you back down, so that's pretty cool. Okay, um, onward with the video. Sorry about that. Uh, 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 epic music! Pirate battle! Attack him, my chickens! Attacks him! Okay, so I got the zombie back, and I put protection 4 on my armor so I can show you what he does without him kicking my ass. So, okay, let's get this started. Oh, wait, wait. I'm not making the same mistake. Let me get a couple of those and some chicken. <coughs> Better yet, I like pumpkin pie. It's my favorite food. Okay. Okay. Mealy, I told you about that. And the particles change to what he's smashing you on, if I'm right. See, he gave me hunger. I'm waiting for him to do his, um, shout. And that's his... That was his throw attack. That was better in that time. Come on. Let's fight. Come on, bro. Come on, you can do this. Yeah. Yeah, you can't beat me. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's eat a golden apple. Okay. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's do this. Okay, so right now he is dead and oh god. I didn't So right now you would have to light his body your bo his body your body. You'd have to light his body on fire for him to die. Because he will die no other way. Well, actually, there is another way, and that's to kill him, to get him like that three times. So, okay, he's like that another time. I'm waiting for him to do a shout attack. I don't know why he's not... Wait, what if I get, like, far away? Shout. Don't just... Shout. I'm not running. I'm trying to get him to shout, but... Oh, he doesn't see me now. <coughs> Maybe he only does it. Wait. Maybe he only does it at night. Fuck. There we go. <sighs> Get food. Okay. No. 
There we go. That's night night. Shout. Shout. Come on. Well, essentially what he does when he shouts is any being um, close to him will take a half heart of damage. And not only that, but he will raise up to six zombies from the dead. So it's kind of a powerful shout if you don't want to be fighting like 20, 20 of them on the same time. See, he died without me saying I'm on fire. And I'm not going to... And this... He drops a Hulk hammer. It, the wiki doesn't specify how much damage it does, but it specifies that it has 64 uses. So, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Except, uh, whoops. So, yeah, that's pretty much on the zombie. That was shorter than normal. Um, I don't know if I'm going to fit this into one episode. Probably not. This is probably like, what, two hours for the whole thing? Well, no matter what, I'm going to get as much as I can into one episode. So, um... I'll do the snow golem next, it's, and then we'll do the Enderman. So, yeah, I'll see you next time, people. Bye -bye. Hello, and welcome back to my mod review, Mutant Creatures. So, the next mutant creature we are doing today is the Mutant Snow Golem. So, how to build a snow golem, 101. Oh, damn, you just got schooled. How to build a mutant skull golem? You're gonna get schooled again. Donna. Epic music. Donna. Ep. Oh. Oh crap, he exploded. Um, yeah, to go. Be. Be my friend. Be my friend. Be my friend. I'm sorry, it's really. It's really late. I'm tired, but I wanted to finish this because it's just a cool mod. So, this is the mutant snow golem. Um. Um, I just realized I don't have any facts on him. Oh, oh god. That's kind of awkward. I will be back. Uh, hang on. Okay, I'm back. So, the mutant, where'd he go? He went down there. So, the mutant snow golem, can, you can make them follow you by right-clicking. And your name will appear above, they'll look at you and say, Hey dude, what's up? You can go, what's up? And, that's pretty cool. So, they'll follow you around to be your little bitch. Yeah. So, let's get him out of the cave. The wiki says he'll take weird paths to you, which, what's he doing? So, yeah, he said he'd take weird paths to you. So, I'm not sure if that's true, I haven't tested it. He, the wiki also said that he attacks mobs, just like snow, go snow golems. But, a mutant snow golem, instead of throwing his snowballs, throws ice blocks that deal up to six hearts of damage. So, let's, let's get him to fight a bitch. Come on. Go. Fight. There there you go. You can see throwing blocks. Yeah, beat him up. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, win the onslaught. Win the tournament. Whoa. Oh, God, my voice. God damn. Whoa. Yay. You can do... What are you, what are you doing? Scaring me. Scam. Kick their ass. Okay, that was pretty entertaining. So yeah, he's kind of he's kind of the uh, boss pet you can have. Um, another cool feature he does is he leaves snow wherever he goes, just like the other one, but this time, just like the normal snow golem. But in this, it's like I think two v two. And right now, he is a he has the ability to freeze water. So if he walks in the water, he go freeze water. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess that's what they mean by weird paths, is that he's kind of like... Yeah, he's kind of like just zigzagging his way. So, another cool thing is, if he's injured, he's asking for your help, and you say, but I don't know how to heal you. Well, now you do. I love you too, man. Bro hug. It's not awkward. This isn't awkward. This isn't awkward. This is I said this isn't awkward. Okay, that was... What the fuck was that? That was pretty awesome right there. Do that again. Do that again. Yeah. Do that again. That That is awesome. I did not know he did that. The wiki said nothing about that. Well, I mean, maybe they did. I just didn't see it. I kind of read fast. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. What it did say is if he gets in water, he will be damaged. So, yeah. Is he not 
follow me. Just get that is that is awesome though. He like jumps up in the air. That's just that's awesome. Yeah, so go a snow goblin. There's nothing really to it. It's just a cool little thing to follow you around. Help kick monsters' butts. So you're not scared, standing there all scared like, Mommy, help me. Help me, Mommy. Help me, my Help me. Help me. I've got nothing. Ignore the enchanted diamond armor and the ability to fly. I've got nothing. <coughs> that was supposed to be a laugh. Um, so, so, yeah, that's... That's mutant uh, snow golem, so... And that's the only one left to do the Enderman, which I'm really excited about. I can't wait. So the mutant yeah, Enderman, the Enderman is anything I'm like I've oh god, anything I've ever seen before. He is ridiculous. He he, he although as awesome as he is, he's ridiculous. So yeah, let's just do it. Okay, taking over the Enderman. Come to the dark side. He yep, he exploded. What's the sound at? No. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Come on. Da da da. There he is. Isn't that terrifying? So, Mutant Enderman is a neutral mob unless provoked. And he becomes provoked when you stare at him. So, let's get out of game mode and let's stare at him. Uh. What? Oh god, that's when he comes. No, he when you try to run, he pulls you in, and he just hits you. God, and he grows extra arms that he uses to melee you. Oh god, and he makes you blind and dizzy. Oh god. Oh, he teleports you up. He just right there. He just teleported me up, and let me fall. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, that was his clone tactics. He goes, he disappears, and then clones take his shape. And you have to find him, and he usually he's usually the taller clone. Oh god, this guy is freaking terrifying me. Oh god. Oh god. Clone. Oh god. Oh god. There he is. Okay, so I'm looking for the other ones. I'm looking for his melee. He just used shadow there. I just saw it. Oh, freaking crap. He teleported me up. I can't see anything. Yeah. Go. No. Looking for him. To use his meal to use oh there he is did you see him he's holding a dirt block that's that's one of his melees he like takes blocks and he can hurl them at you he is a freak of nature right now just look at him look at the way he looks he's a freak of freaking oh that was his shout that was his shout that's I think that was his shout at least his shout causes damage to everyone nearby oh god his shout causes damage to everyone nearby like t up to two hearts, and it can also stop the rain. Is this guy hurt by what? Oh my god! Oh my god! This is this is hectic. Oh, that that's him dying. But when he dies, all these Ender Soul fragments will fly out. I uh, empty. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I need to get one. I don't know what I'm doing. What was I doing there? Oh my god, just die. Uh, okay, then I believe you feed them this? Oh. Okay. I'm not sure how that works. What are you doing? I knew you could grab them and then you do something with them. I'm not sure what, though. Uh, ender pearls? Wait, wait. Oh. Um. Uh. I don't know. It's gonna awkward. I got it. I, I got it. You drop an eye of ender... While they're following, wait, me, drop. While they're following you, you drop an eye of Ender, and then it gives you an Ender Soul hand, and that's what I wanted. Okay, sorry about that. I got really confused about what to do there. So okay, yeah. So the Ender Soul hand is a really cool tool that I like. I can use it on mobs. Not only does it do melee damage as is, but oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh yeah, take a rose, bitch. Oh, God. Oh, that was awesome. What the freak? They, they outdid them. They outdo themselves at these places. Look at that. Lena. 
That that is awesome. Take that. That that is pretty cool. So yeah, that's what the Ender Soul hand does. And that I know that was really confusing. I'm a little bit confused, truthfully. Oh wait, here, let me just show you once for good measure. So when the Enderman dies, all these things fly out. What you do is you click it and it will follow you. And you can do that to make it not follow you can do that to make it not follow you, and then that to follow you. And if you want one of those Ender Soul hands, you just drop I have Ender, you get an Ender Soul hands. Ender Soul hand. Uh yeah. I guess they're not like really full when you get them. So you have to like recharge them or something. I'm not sure how that works. So, but yeah, that's pretty cool. So, I hope you enjoyed this mod. The mod will be down in the description. Um, everything you need to know about it will be down in the description. So, I guess that's it. I guess I'll see you guys later. Uh, bye bye